Hello and welcome to the Kiln Image Sorting Software Overview. Uh, basically, I'm just going to go over the software, show you, you know, a few of its features, what it does, and how to use it. So, when you open it up, it's a pretty simple interface. Uh, you have your image preview here, a list of images from a directory on the left-hand side, and then you got a few buttons down here, and then some more advanced details. So, down here, when you first open up the software, uh, it's going to automatically load up your pictures folder, which is located under the current username. And then it's going to move this directory to whatever your image directory is, and then it's going to append this slash edit here so that, you know, you could just literally open up the software and just, you know, if you have all your images that you want to move in your pictures folder, just go right ahead. So the premise of the software is to speed up the process of editing and moving photos for a photographer. You know, when you have to go through a thousand images, you don't really want to open up, look at the image, close the preview, move the image over to a folder. It kind of just breaks that whole, uh, you know, tedious process. So some of the features here, when you open this up, you have this option called key mode. And by default, it's on. And this allows you to use the left and right arrows to scroll through the images. So for instance, if you're just opening the software, you can just automatically start scrolling through. If uh, you don't want to do that, and let's say you have, you know, like a touch screen, you, you have this up on a tablet or something, um, you can just use the next previous buttons here. And then once you're all ready to go, you could hit OK. And this sends the current image in the preview to the directory that is down here that moves your images. And uh, let's say you don't have this directory created. Well, as you can you can see here, it's uh, you know no such folder does not exist. And that's that's okay. So when you hit OK, um, you're like, well, all right, keep going on. What happened? Well, it created that directory, and as you can see it here, this is where it moved it. It moved it into my pictures edit. And if you open up this directory, you can see here in the images directory that here, here are the images that I have currently open and then here's the edit directory that it created. And now to see that in real time, just, just so you can see that it's actually creating that directory, go back to the software. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. If you look over here on the left, it created that directory edit and it put the image in there. And then you can see here, we'll go to next, we'll hit OK, and the next image is in there. Or, just so you can see, I'll leave the mouse up here at the top, I'm going to use my right arrow key, and I'm going to hit Enter. Now, that speeds up the process by like 80% at least, come on, look at that. Image is in there just by going through the left and right arrow keys. And as you can see here, it also scrolls through the images here. So if you know what image you're looking for, you can scroll and you're going to say, um, let, let's, do, let's do the Happy New Year one. You can select it and it'll automatically pull up the image. And again, just hit enter and it puts it into your edit folder. So you don't have to do anything else except look through the photos that you want to edit. Pretty simple, huh? I thought you'd like it. So. If you don't want to the default pictures, all you have to do is click this little uh, ellipsis here, and you can choose what folder you want. By default, it's going to have your uh, pictures folder selected. You can choose any directory you want, and it will work just the same. Uh, also, this is editable. So you can see here, um, you can change the directory here, and you can put in whatever directory you want, and just copy and paste. Boom ready to go. So that is basically it. That is, you know, simple enough. Now if you go here, just to show you that you can turn off key mode and I'm, you know, selecting left and right. It's not, it's not going through. And uh, you can still select through here. You can still use your keys, but key mode's off so that you can use your left and right arrows elsewhere. Uh, for instance, if you're in here and you just, you needed to uh, move, you know, through the directory. But I keep that on by default. That way, you just load it up, and you can start just going through photos and start editing right away. So, I hope that this helps you understand a little bit more about what the Kiln Image Sorting software is all about. If you have any questions, feel free to email me on the website.